Hello, in this video, I'll show you the most effective moving average EMA crossover strategy for day trading and scalping stocks, forex and cryptocurrency market. So stick around till the end of the video to understand the strategy. The moving average is a simple technical analysis tool that smoothens out price data by calculating an average price that is constantly updated. The average is calculated over a specific period of time, such as 10 days, 20 minutes, 30 weeks or any time period selected by the trader. The most common applications of moving averages are to identify trend direction and to determine support and resistance levels. In an uptrend which forms when you have high highs and higher lows like in the chart below, a moving average may act as a support level. This is because the average acts like a flow so the price bounces up whenever it touches it. On this other chart, we have a downtrend market which is being formed by lower highs and lower lows. The moving average is acting as a resistance, which is also like a ceiling. The price hits the level and then starts to drop again. Lastly, in a ranging market, the moving average tends to stay in between the market movement, as you can observe in the chart below. So first we need to understand the basics of moving average crossover. The idea behind trading crossovers is that a short-term moving average trading above a long-term moving average indicates an upward momentum in a stock and it's also referred to as the golden cross. While when a short term moving average trading below a long term moving average, it indicates a downward momentum in a stock, giving an opportunity to go short in our trades. The best moving average combination depends with the trading strategy. 9 or 10 periods are very popular and extremely fast moving. It's often used as a directional filter, hence more preferable for short term aggressive traders. The 21 period is medium term and is viewed as the most accurate moving average. The 50 period is a long term moving average and is best suited for identifying long term direction, hence more suitable for long term traders. Since EMS plays a higher weighting on recent data than older data, they are more reactive to the latest price changes than SMS are, which makes the results from EMS more timely and explains why the EMA is the preferred average among many traders. On the chart below, we have both the 50 EMA and the 50 SMA. We can observe the 50 EMA reacting to recent prices more smoothly than the 50 SMA. So let's go to our best moving average crossover strategy which I prefer because I have backtested it several times and it's very profitable. We will use the 50 EMA and the 13 EMA to take our trades. On the USD card daily chart below, you can see the 13 EMA crossing the 50 EMA from above, giving us a sell signal. We will not go into a short trade immediately. We will go down to a lower time frame to confirm this signal and that will be on this 4 hour time frame. On the chart you can see where the crossover occurred. We wait for the moving averages to start fanning out, which indicates that the momentum is increasing. When the market makes a pullback to the moving averages at least twice then we take our trade in combination with price action or a suggesting candlestick pattern, of which in this case we can see an engulfing bearish candle. We put our stop loss just above the previous swing high and target a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. To take a long position, wait for the 13 EMA to cross the 50 EMA from below giving us a buy signal. We again wait for the EMS to start fanning out which indicates the price is gaining momentum on the upside. When we get at least two pullbacks to the moving average, we enter into our trade in combination with price action or a suggestive candlestick pattern, targeting a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. Watch my next video on CCI indicator trading strategy that top traders use to get more profitable in your trading journey. Till next time, see you.